What's what up, it OG? do? OG? It's your OG man. Y'all already know what it OG. is. Today we got some Corey Holcomb. And uh, I'm just going to let it play. Y'all know I'll be back with my commentary. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's get to the video. But when you say, yeah, I, yeah. Like, wait, what? Who, who, the cra who? Here's the crazy thing about that deception. That they care about, right? Boredom really means that you're not enough. Thank you. You're it not don't mean it. that I'm not right. doing enough. Mm -hmm. If you're bored as a person in general all the time, what you're really saying is I am not enough. Right. And I excuse myself and, because I am definitely not going to be able to feel that, tell me not gonna feel that void. I'll be like, bitch, Frank's Nursery and Crabs <laughs> is four blocks from nope. my place. Not even that. I'd be like, well, see that little area right there? You can do jumping jacks, push up, get your fat ass in motion. You fat right. bitch. Like, I know you ain't bored and you had them braids in for two weeks. <laughs> your head stank like a motherfucker, oh bitch. My God, you ain't supposed to be around me like that. You're not supposed to be rank around me. Mm. Right. You supposed to have your feet, asshole, and navel clean the whole time you're around me. Don't worry about your mouth. I ain't gonna kiss you anyway. You funky motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, no, that that right there is a a, an, a sign. It's just a sign. You should they, be able they, to they, sue a woman that tells you she's bored. <laughs> no, you just need to. Because that was your that's your moment to get this. To, somebody to say bored. Strology said. Boards means she's for the streets. She belongs to the streets. Mm, yeah. My, my time is valuable. If you're she telling me she... you're bored, you're stealing my time. Do you if you're in my presence, it costs me to be a man. Every second costs me down to the penny. So if you hanging with me daily. And you bored. Oof. And you talking about you bored, but it's costing me. I should be able to sue you for whatever <laughs> that. What if the bitch says she it. bored and she got kids that ain't yours? Oh, well, bitch. I mean, yeah. You better go fuck your son, bitch. Come on now, dog. Fuck out my face. Lord, you Jesus. got people to take care of one way or yeah. another. It is just, this is why I'm telling y'all this. It is disrespectful for a woman to tell you she bored. She for anybody. talking crazy anybody, to you. That's crazy. Homie, Even a kid. She, she trying to see what man, you about. Man. Even a child, I'm bored, mom. What the hell? There's always some shit to do. Get you. Yeah. She talking. <laughs> Take boy. a nap. Here's the thing I want to ask D directly. Close your eyes. <laughs> you ready for this one? Mm -hmm. Now you. We finna go Thank you, Cameron. Can, Darlene mm -hmm. Ortiz, will you answer this first, please? Oh God. Can you be kind to a woman and expect respect? Mm -hmm. Ooh, we yeah. Can you be kind to a woman? And expect respect, you said? Can you be kind mm -hmm. to a woman and expect respect in this Western world, America? Hell no! You should. You should be able to. But as of recently, it's dwindling down. It's dwindling away. Man, I got an answer. You what? I got an answer whenever what? you're ready. Oh, I know you got to answer. Depends Craig. on what I kind of work. I just wanted to see what D was going to say. I, I, because I'm telling you, man, almost every woman I was kind to wind up getting dick from somewhere else because oh I didn't obey. Oh, my God. Wait a second. Oh, you mean like in a, in a, in a, in a relationship or just like being saying hi? Every or? woman I was kind to got fucked by somebody else. Hey, she must be getting him some pussy or Mr. stuff. Well? Except one. Except one. Hmm. Other than that. Interesting. Every woman I was kind to wind up fucking somebody else. But the ones who I dogged, them funny. motherfuckers be there when I call. Them bitches be like, y'all gonna be there. Uh -huh. The ones that I didn't give the kindness to are the ones that's there for me. But the ones that I treated good, as, as good as I could, they all getting fucked by other dick nuts. <laughs> yeah, what do you, what, what's treat kind? Like, what did you, because some guys. You say what's kind? Yeah, like what do you, what do you consider <laughs> kind? Like what was kind? Kind, what's the definition of kind, gentlemen? We, they, we we got researchers over here that um, try to research. All right. Kind What's the definition is, of kind? Huh. 
Having or showing a friendly, generous, or considerate nature. Having, showing a friendly, generous, generous nature. Considerate mm -hmm. nature. Considerate nature. <laughs> yep. So you know what kind mean now, D? Yeah. I'm just making sure you understand. I asked you what you considered kind, and then that. I, they just said it. I didn't say the definition. I, I what agree do you with consider? the. I, I what agree with what they said. You... Kind is when you nice to people. So you were nice when you asked about seeing the pussy spread wide open. Okay. So anyway, we talk. It's like almost two years. Okay. If not two years, I'm talking about this man calling me on holidays. He called me on New Year's. Like, what are you doing? I'm like taking my Christmas lights down. He's like, oh, it's like early in the morning, late at night. And I accept his calls and stuff because we're on tip different time zones. He's touring and, you know, doing whatever he does. And he's active and stuff. And so, you know, I respect, out of respect of my business, I answered the phone, okay? So I talked to him, whatever, for like almost two years. So he's like, um, one day, I mean, I already pretty much, you know, got a gist of his personality. Like, okay, he's ghetto as hell. He like does not have a lot of tact, you know, which I'm from the hood, but I'm not ghetto. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Okay. Ain't, ain't nothing ghetto about me, honey. I I, I carry myself like a, the queen that I am, okay? Stop the cow. Anyway, he gets on here talking about, uh, send me a picture of your cat. <laughs> Y'all, I sent this fool. No, he said, send me a picture of your monkey. I'm gonna tie your monkey ass up. Poor thing. Y'all, I literally sent this fool a picture of a monkey. <laughs> the car ran through her living room? Huh. What else is she gonna do? She ain't doing nothing else with a pussy. A pussy is useless. The bitch 50 with a motherfucking son that ain't even that old. <laughs> she, tried to, she tried to have a family late in life, and that nigga was the nigga who probably ran the car through a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> What else she going to do with a pussy? Might well show it to me and get 300 because I know you showed it to a lot of people and didn't get $30. So I told him, I said, um, my, some things had happened to me, okay? I, that's another video, y'all. These people crazy out here. But I had an accident at my home, okay? And I'm talking about a terrible accident. Like, <laughs> I have some stalking. I had some stalking ass neighbors. Like they were so obsessed with me, crazy. One night they literally drove their old, big old cutlass through my front door. Yeah, drove their car through my front door. My son was sitting on the couch. My daughter was there on the couch. My grand girl was there on the couch. They're sitting there watching a the movie. This fool come flying his car through our house at 10.30, 11 o'clock at night. Thank God we are all okay. Okay? But not <laughs> what is it going to do? He ain't got no answer. Craig, what do you think about Earning respect, being kind. I, I think it's 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 not possible. Nope. To earn respect and be kind, um, because we all have a different level of logic. Some of us are illogical. Some of us uh, don't practice logic at all. And when we deal with women, women uh, a form of logic that they use a lot is called a false mm -hmm. dilemma. A false dilemma occurs when an argument um, is presented to an audience with a limited number of sides. So a lot of times a woman's, a woman's logic will be limited by what she wants the outcome to be. So they'll get hyper-focused on things that justify their opinion as opposed to the logic that could cover an entire situation. So if they want to cheat on you, they'll focus on the things that the nigga who they're trying to replace you with at the time does well. He makes more money. He's in better shape. You know what I mean? And just totally disregard 
um, the Sorry. things that you may have that are good qualities in a situation. So um, a lot of times kindness allows people to uh, use ill logic um, when they deal with you. And you shouldn't let kindness any, for weakness. That's weakness. Yeah, you shouldn't let anybody be illogical when they deal with you. You should always set a boundary that is intensive enough to force someone um, to be who they really are. So nice guys finish last all the time. You got You can't be scared to force people to be who they really are. Sometimes you got to flush haters out. Sometimes you got to say certain shit to make people uncomfortable. Sometimes you got to say no. Sometimes you got to take away things that you allow people to do. Sometimes you got to risk losing a friendship in order to get the appropriate amount of respect. And when you deal with people who don't understand or respect boundaries, that's how you flush them out. You just say, hey, you can't do this around me no more. What's going to happen? Niggas going to start making videos. Niggas going to start lying publicly. Niggas going to start doing things to put themselves in position to get sued because they deal with emotion. They don't deal with logic. Have they you ever talked to one woman in front of another woman you fucking. Have you ever done that? Like at the same time currently? Yes, I'm talking I, about even if it's on the phone. Have you ever talked to a woman <laughs> that you fucking in front of another woman that you fucking? And they both know you fucking both of them. I, I haven't done it. I haven't done I've. They've been around the each other. The answer is no. No, no, no. Because, but do you consider... Um, well, no, because you just said no. Why? Because you don't want to. You don't want to lose one of them. So they. So do you no. guys, In other words, if you can, do you consider lying and keeping the truth from someone that you so-called care about? Do you consider that being kind? Omitting what, omitting truth that? is deception. And is that kind? And that is that is that is. It depends on the caliber of woman, right? Do you feel what I'm saying? No. Oh. Okay, so like, look. I disagree. I'm not. Oh, yeah. I'm not trying. I'm to, not saying I'm, I'm right. I'm just talking to you, one hundred. Let I'm me not, tell you something. You are who you are. Yeah, right. And getting people to understand who you are is a very difficult thing because most of the time men want they women to be they women only. Right. Mm -hmm. That's why men be scared to tell women who they are because they don't want they women with nobody but them. I agree. But I have found in my time on this planet that's not only your pussy. Said you when died. you figure that out, you're going to be free. That's not your pussy to have forever all yours. If you think so, use a sucker. I believe it's her pussy. It don't, her pussy don't belong to no nigga. Mm -hmm. Even if you were a woman for 100 years and she never fuck another nigga. It still ain't your pussy. That's how I operate on. I, you know, for me, my my motto is that's it. why people don't mm -hmm. tell women who they really are because it hurts so bad when somebody else is fucking your woman. Right. When somebody is sleeping with your woman, it hurt because <laughs> you care about her really. You care about it. All that shit. We don't love them hoes. Yeah. No, nah, nigga. You know you, you, know you love that not, woman. But, yeah. And you so want that woman to be all yours yeah. while you run the street and do what the fuck you yeah. want to do. And most men ain't got the courage to say that. Yeah. yeah. Gosh. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> it was a lot said in this video. When you dealing with a comedian, you got to have some type of thick skin or whatnot. You can't let everything that these comedians say, you know, get to you like that. You know, Corey, he's a comedian. I have a lot of comments about some of the things that he say. Just like he just said, if you bored, go screw your son. Hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> like, where that come from? You know, who says that? And me, myself, I got to look at it like, okay, this is a comedian. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he ran out of jokes where he just reached from anywhere and just pulled something out of, you know, pulled any, something out his ass or whatever. I mean, I, 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 I get it. You know, some people, you know, can't take it or whatnot, but you're dealing with a comedian. Moving on. Craig broke down, you know, as far as a man being kind to a woman. And, and, and getting respect and being respected or whatnot. And Corey says something about the women that he dog out, you know, they 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 got his back. 
more than the women that he be be kind to or whatnot. You know, the women that he's kind to, you know, they getting a D. They getting a D from somewhere else. But the women you dogging out, they getting a D too. You can't just say that about the women who you nice to and, and they going out, they messing with somebody. You know what I'm saying? What about the woman that you dogging out? She got to be going to get some some somewhere else or whatnot. She must, must, be, hey, she must be getting him some pussy or Mr. something. As far as nice guys finishing last, I believe that. Nice guys, they finish last. And you know this, A woman, man. <laughs> you know, especially these modern women, they don't want no nice guy. They're going to run all over him, right? No, this, it's, it's, it's not going to happen. They spoke about a man, and I hope I'm saying it right, but a man who's, who don't want another man messing with his woman. You know what I'm saying? Like that, she she'd never be, that would never be just your pussy or whatnot. And I beg to differ. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't understand some of these dudes out here. You know, like, what y'all got a fetish or something? Y'all, y'all, y'all want a woman to be, you know, dealing with another man for y'all to, you know what I'm saying, deal with that woman or whatnot. Like y'all don't care. Hell no. Like me myself, I don't, I don't like uh, seconds or leftovers. Nobody leftovers and all that. No, it's, especially if I'm dealing this woman. Why would I? Yeah, I, I'll be messed up. He, he got it right. You know what I'm saying. But as far as you know. You being a whole ass nigga and all that shit? Nah, man. It's just... Come on now, dog. Come on, man. You, you just... You got to have some type of morals or whatnot. Corey be talking about some... Oh, we gonna read the Bible? You know what I'm saying? I can bring up a whole lot of uh, Bible verses as far as, you know, a woman sleeping with multiple men. She belongs to the streets. A woman is only to have one man, one man out of her whole life. That's Bible. You're goddamn right. Right? So as far as with all that, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't rolling with Corey on that. You talking reckless, dude. <laughs> Off the rip. But I ain't gonna hold y'all up. I hope y'all enjoyed the video or whatnot. Y'all like, share, subscribe. Come on, press your button. This your man. To the next video, Ghetto Talk. Peace.